one more time we have identified the exact top for this decline and i will show you how i am not only sharing the uh, direction but i am trying hard to give you the precise levels so that's not an easy job for each and every time but you know very well i made it uh, multiple times right show your support by subscribe the channel share it with your fellow traders okay so help me to reach more people hello traders welcome to the channel today 20th july nifty ends this week at 24530 and bank nifty at 52217 one more time we have identified the exact top for this decline and i will show you how see uh, uh do you remember uh, i am saying in previous week video also the 24650 levels see i am approaching the markets by wave by wave okay in giving importance to the internal subways also that's the way to identify the precise levels right if you count only the major uh, waves we can identify only the direction when you identify the uh, subways also you can identify the precise levels so uh, last week uh, i expected 24650 will be the resistance and we need to see what the price do around 24650 and from that we will take the next course of action so this is what we discussed last week and this is the same thing say so expect a nifty to reach 24650 and today i was 24635 uh, i think it is couple of days back and need to see what the price is doing here i gave uh, two options depending on what price uh, do around 24650 the exact uh, option a was happen and uh, it was like rejecting and pausing see sideways around 24650 may lead to one more high to 24750 to 24780 when it was trading around 24586 this is what we uh, posted and discussed and this is what happened see uh 24650 this is the zone 24650 and you can see re getting rejected from 24650 and pausing that is sideways a yeah, sideways is non directional see a non directional a b c a yeah, sideways so if sideways comes around 24650 expect a 24750 to 24780 24780 this line see 24782 everything was already marked and prepared and if you notice here i have marked this line also because the learners may understand seeing this nature the way as not it ended so i expected the price to reach 24827 that's why i marked this line these are not any random lines see when the price was reaching uh, 74787 here okay when it was trading around 24787 while sharing the post i marked the line uh, 24827 for a stop and exactly stopped at 24829 and you can see 24829 this is 5 minutes chart so that's why i am saying uh, analyzing the turning points of all the waves okay all the turning points and uh, see exactly stopped at 24829 here and possibly one more high spending so even though the price reached the target the nature suggesting that the impulse is not yet over and if you see the high made was today around 24853 okay so from this level a decline came to 24780 and one more high also done okay so this is 5 minute chart even in this time frame also we can identify the pause stop turning points of uh impulse waves or corrective waves whatever see the elliot wave has only three rules and few guidelines but how we are approaching makes us different so this is what i teach in my course the wave by wave analysis Uh, by simple elliot wave analysis you can identify the direction but 
if you need to identify the precise levels and turning points of each and every wave, you can register my course. And I bet this will be the 100% practical course with 350 plus charts for examples. And not only that, uh, we are, uh, so far I added four additional videos which are real-time chart analysis and I select the charts which are very difficult to analysis, right? Many charts with one-way direction not able to identify using the LEI waves. I select those charts and do the analysis. So, so the learners can get the best experience in the LEI wave analysis. And additional to that, uh, we have created a community for the learners in the website. And uh, not only the new videos, I'm adding more charts, additional to 350 plus charts for your more experience and learning and to give a more worth to your money and time spent in the course. So if you are interested in Elite Waves and uh, wish to learn the wave theory, my course will be your right choice. So register now, all the details in the description. Right, so this is how we identify the top for this particular impulse, okay? A step-by-step -step approach. After reaching the resistance, what we can expect. So this is the idea and this is what we analyzed last week. So what we can expect next week? See, the same post, I said Bank Nifty needs to cross 53,000 to 53,100. I think this is not the new thing. Uh, I have already shared in the previous video. The same approach I'm going to apply for this week also because the price still in a particular range, not moved or uh, not created any trend. So the same view applicable for this week also. I'm totally focusing on Bank Nifty. And as I said in the, during this week, I shift my focus on Bank Nifty. So in my opinion, the Bank Nifty is going to decide the uh, coming week's price action. So Bank Nifty is the key. So why, why Bank Nifty is the key? Because I will explain everything and just giving hint, Intermarket divergence between Nifty and Bank Nifty. Okay, okay. I will explain that while we uh, study about the intermarket divergence. So what Bank Nifty suggests? See, this also I explained in previous week only. This can be still a four. Okay, if this is still a four, there's a higher chance of making one more high. See, in Nifty. Okay, in Nifty daily chart, the RSI not give a divergence yet okay but i use rsi as the additional factor not the primary factor i use waves as the primary since rsi is a trustable indicator we should have a thought in that way also that is one more is possible as per this there's higher chance of top has been made but since rsi is suggesting that the divergence is not yet made there is a possibility of one more high in Nifty. But if Nifty wants to make a new high, this bank Nifty should be uh, completed only the fourth wave here. Okay, see, I'm approaching same step-by-step -step process. So if bank Nifty wants to make a new high, the bank Nifty needs to cross 53,000 to 5300 or 53,200 around that zone. The price needs to cross that zone with speed. Right? Remember that. So, if the if the price moves like that, this can be 4 and 5 may go upside. Okay? Or else, this is the option. And the top has already been made. That's why an intermarket divergence created between Nifty and Bank Nifty. Still Nifty trading in this zone. See, the B wave. So, A, B, C can proceed. Okay, the B can reach 5300, 53,000 to 5300 approximately, that zone. Okay, that's the idea here. So, to invalidate that B wave, the price need to cross above that B wave. Okay, that's the approach now. And for that, I already informed this also. So, everything we discussed on previous week itself. There will be A, B and C and the C can reach 53,000 approximately and uh, this zone, okay, 53,000 to 53,200. This is the approach. If the uh, price rejects here or directly comes lower to this, as power analysis, Nifty has already been uh, made top and the correction may continue. 
So all the things are focused on bank nifty. Okay, this is the approach we discussed last week. And so I'm not going to talk about nifty now. See, bank nifty, the price still in the range. You see, uh, this is a sideways pattern. Sideways pattern can be 4 or B. Here, there is no chance of uh, becoming a wave 4. So, possibly wave B. That's why I said A, B and C. Right? So, the B wave can make a sideways pattern. So, if the price crosses above this turn line around 50 to 800, we need to see 53,000 to 53. 200 this zone okay these levels are very important for uptrend to continue if the price rejects and see suppose if the price moves above to 52100 or 200 and without crossing that 53200 coming below this level okay remember the price making any new low without making any new low the price moves higher and rejects at that place and comes lower below this point, then this can be assumed as a corrective pattern only. Decline may continue. Right? This is what the approach. So simply 53,000 to 53,200, it needs to cross with the speed for uptrend. So Nifty also can make a one more high. Even the broader markets also have possibility of making one more high. So, all the things are based on Bank Nifty. I will say why Bank Nifty is important. Please watch the video fully. Right? Okay, this is the approach on Bank Nifty. See, this is the uh, mid cap 150. If you see, this is the uh, ending pattern a yeah, sideways 4, A, B, C, D, E, and the price is coming lower, okay, breaking below this trend line. And uh, if you notice, see, this can be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For example, if the price makes a pullback and made a one more low, right? This will become the wave A because I can get a five wave structure here. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 and 5. So, if this happens, this becomes wave A, wave B and wave C. We are in corrective pattern. But if Bank Nifty makes uh, moves above 53,000 or uh, 53,200 with speed, how this pattern can be changed? This can be adjusted like this. Okay. So the price is at the support zone. This can become a bigger uh, wave 4 or this can give simply a pullback only and go lower. That's why I said in my previous post that we need to watch for the pullback now. I gave the uh, option for uh, 5 wave decline. We need to see. But if the price directly moves above this level, okay, then this can be only a 3 wave move. So, possibly we are in a bigger 4 and one more high to 21, 650 is possible in mid cap 150. So, this is the approach now. So, we need to see how the price reacting here. The main concentration on bank nifty also, but see here the broader markets are giving up. But if the price moves like this, a pullback and made a new low, then it will become a first leg of correction. And a bigger pullback and one more correction is due. Please be clear in that. Same approach for small cap. I will explain like this. Okay. The same approach can be seen here also. See. Exactly getting support here. And possibly uh, this is ending of only three waves. Okay. This is ending only the third wave. See both the price action. See, this entire price action can be only wave 3. Okay. 
So that's why I'm saying if a pullback comes and comes one more lower, okay, remember a pullback and a low, not direct low. If pullback comes and one more low, then it can become a five wave structure and it can be a wave A. So we are in a corrective pattern. Okay. The price is very important zone, both uh, broader markets, nifty, sorry, small cap, mid cap, okay, important support. A pullback is expected, even bank nifty, see, very important support. And uh, this is 61.8% support, I guess. The B way mostly stops at there. Yes, 61.8%. So important support, bank nifty, small cap, mid cap, and even uh, see the nifty also at important support so if there is no gap down below these levels okay and continuation there is a possibility of pullback can be expected first initially if the pullback is a, a good pullback i mean if the pullback has a good up move then we may think of a, a one more high considering the bank nifty and uh, broader markets crossing above this line here okay in small cap here this side not this side this one so if the pullback crosses uh, that level we may think of uh, some bullish situation otherwise if the pullback and one more low this will be a corrective patterns only and let's see how the price moves from here this low uh, should be protected for minor uh, pullback okay only this low uh, breaking below this low may confirm the uh, correction because it's an extended wave 5 so there is a chance of some deeper correction okay so this level should be protected but anyway uh, we need to see uh, how the bank nifty uh, behaving this week so as I said multiple times, I focus on bank nifty because this may give a pullback and come lower. There are higher chances. In nutshell, I focus only on bank nifty now because in this way, nifty has reached the top and I can see an ending pattern in broader markets. But bank nifty is mo moving uh, sideways, not taking a decisive decline yet. So for that, we have certain levels the price moves higher this 53,000 to 53,200 should be crossed for new highs or else I said levels right rejecting and crossing below that B point below may confirm the uh, corrective pattern because nifty and broader markets are uh, making some ending pattern and coming lower so bank nifty decides this week uh, why I am concentrating only on bank nifty is see the intermarket divergence you know very well that if intermarket divergence comes both the indices should move in a similar way okay that is what the Dow theory so this is bank nifty and this one is nifty see the nifty made a new high I will draw a line here nifty made a new high bank nifty not made a new high this is called intermarket divergence how the indices will resolve either the bank nifty okay either the bank nifty will move upside to make the intermarket divergence resolve or nifty will come down to resolve it now you understand why i am focusing on bank nifty because bank nifty is the index not made a new high so it uh, it is bank nifty's duty now to resolve by moving higher or else the nifty also follow the bank nifty by going lower hope you understand the intermarket divergence clearly right this is the reason i am focusing on bank nifty that's a simple analogy my uh, request or my wish to everyone that Please use the intermarket divergence along with your whatever you study you are using. Please use the intermarket divergence. It is a much uh, easy 
to identify the tops and bottoms when you combine with waves it is much more easier okay the intermarket divergence is a powerful indicator it's a advanced clue okay not any confirmation it is giving a clue that some uh, difference between the indices one indice is going to follow another which one is going to follow we need to see right that is the uh, resolving method of intermarket divergence okay this is the update on market and uh, a few requests is for analyzing the metal uh, sector it's a nifty metal see i'm uh, okay this is wave one and wave two i don't think this is the entire wave three so i think all are part of wave three and still one more height to complete the wave three so this is the uh, some confusion because we are not able to see a clear three wave pattern but we can take it as like this a b c okay an expanded flat that is highly possible or it can be part of uh, impulse okay that is a different story anyway i will explain the current situation if i take it as a b c some sort of correction has been over here and uh, we need to have a new impulse so i'm moving to hourly chart see this is wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 wave 5 but uh, these are not uh, fully synchronized with the fib numbers okay i'm assuming it as an impulse but i'm not fully satisfied that the uh, this is the complete impulse okay there is a possibility okay this is this can be this can be in first impulse but i'm not fully convinced that's all so for that we need to approach in a different way see may, i believe many of you don't know that leading diagonals may come in wave a also so uh, if you are using leading diagonals in only in wave 1 and that also in only in impulse wave please be note that leading diagonals may come in wave a or wave 1 in the correction also i have shown a lot of examples in the course and it is see one more example it's a leading diagonal okay a b c d e and this can be a and b okay see not made a new height so this is an example of a leading diagonal in a corrective pattern so i am assuming this is a b c and assuming it is an impulse 1 2 3 4 5 if this is the case the price needs to uh, support before this low point but please remember still there is a chance of reaching this low i will tell the levels also to watch so my count is a b and c the c wave should have five sub waves see this is a third wave only the correction is not yet over and i can see even this is the subdivision of wave 3 1 2 3 itself not over so it can be a uh, 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 so possibly let's see if this is the wave 2 the price can uh, reach around 9100 which is 61.8 percent so in my opinion uh, the price may cross this level also 9100 to 8900 so approximately the price may reach between uh, these two fib levels okay because the waves are not completed by him but uh, in my opinion this is one two three itself can reach 9100 uh, and a four and five so this is the expectation now okay the three itself can reach 9100 and a pullback and uh, some in between levels may get up if the price not get support yes there is higher chance of reaching the prior low of 8500 okay that's not a much difference right so this is the approach in uh, nifty metal and without dxy we cannot uh, analyze the metal 
see this is a dxy chart and i want to show one thing uh, during april 1 and uh, here okay when the price was trading fast uh, i shared that expecting rejection from here are around 106 levels and uh, see the rejection came 106.5 here i marked a slight difference and uh, the price and uh, that is a uh, start of the fall so if this is wave 2 and we are in the process of a big decline in wave 3 this is 1 2 3 in follow okay so i'm moving to hourly see this is 1 2 and uh, all this can be wave 3 giving importance to the uh, nature 1 2 3 4 5 there's higher chance that uh, one more decline is possible so one more decline after one more decline okay maybe from this level around uh, say i'm not using any fib levels uh, around 104.5 or 105 if the price if the dxy comes one more low there is a higher chance that a yeah, pullback and may come lower okay if this is the case this is possible now even now the price may come to this point also during that pullback okay these are all assumptions we need to see how the price behaving in this level okay so this is the approach and this is the idea for next week on i mean coming days for nifty metal and we have discussed the nifty bank nifty broader markets and price action for next week so the focus is on bank nifty and i said the reason also so bank nifty will decide the uh, coming uh, days trend fine i am not only sharing the uh, direction but i am trying hard to give you the precise levels so that's not an easy job for each and every time but you know very well i made it uh, multiple times right yes of course uh, no one can write at all times so the thing is uh, after uh, much work only i'm sharing all this information show your support by subscribe the channel share it with your fellow traders okay so help me to reach more people so that uh, they can also learn the one of the purest form of lai wave trading and analysis methods right so thanks for all your support subscribe the channel for uh, more learnings in lai waves and market updates and if you wish to learn the lai wave in much more practical and you want to make lai wave as your uh, trading method and if you want to become more uh, independent or if you want to take your uh, stock market journey to the next level register my course all the details in the description so thank you trade safe happy weekend bye mm -hmm.